Um, you're going to be trying to achieve a goal, uh, uh, some change that you want to make, some journey you want to make. Um, and Virgo, for some of you, this will be an allegorical journey, a, like a journey within. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to master uh, yoga. Maybe you're trying to uh, learn something new. Maybe you're taking a class. Um, maybe there's an exam or a test or something that you want to pass, a certification that you want to get. So some of you may be studying in July. Some of you, there may be a trip or vacation that you are planning that you want to take or you want to find the funds to take, um, you know, and, and so you're going to be focused on that. Whatever your goal is, you're going to be, you're going to have extreme focus, uh, Virgo. And um, you're going to need this because, because this is coming up in the challenge, this shift or change is, is just proving difficult. Um, you know, maybe it's just your finding the time to focus on it. Uh, I think you're gonna make it happen though, because this, you know, um, some of you may have trouble at the beginning of the month though, finding the energy to focus on whatever this is. Maybe you need to leave a situation and you've been putting it off. Maybe you need to leave a relationship and you've been putting it off. Maybe you need to move. You've been wanting to move or, or um, change jobs and you've been putting it off. So. There's some change that needs to happen, Virgo, that you've been putting off. And because this is coming up in the challenge in July, um, you may just keep getting signs that you need to do this. And uh, you're just having trouble for whatever reason, getting up the gumption, getting up the energy, getting the focus to do this. Uh, but if you keep on it, you'll be successful, Virgo. So just Take steps in July to make this change happen or to, uh, you know, if you're studying for a test, make sure that you are um, making the time to do that. Um, even if you feel you're not absorbing things, sometimes we are and we don't realize it until we're actually taking the test or taking the exam and realize that, oh, I do remember that. Um, so yeah, but definitely, um, Whatever this shift or change that needs to happen, Virgo, if you put it off, the universe will make it for you. And I always caution people and recommend that, you know, if you can make it yourself, it's always going to be better. It's always going to feel better than if, if change is forced upon you. Um, for some of you, this could be a change that someone else is making that is cha that's proving challenging for you. So this could be someone um, deciding to move out or deciding to leave a relationship or deciding to, maybe there's someone at work that you work with and depend on and they're leaving or your boss is leaving and you don't know what you're gonna get. So um, yeah, because of this, there's some change that's gonna prove challenging for you in July. We're going for a lot of you, it's gonna, it's gonna have to do with another person. It's not you, it's, it's somebody else making a decision that affects you. Uh, in some way, but it's like, I feel like this, they're going on to a new beginning, but you kind of are still having to find yours in some way. So, um, in July, do your best to get your focus on what, you know, what you want to go after and, and focus on your goals, uh, rather than, you know, someone else's or, 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 um, try not to worry about whatever, Whatever this is, is for the better. Whoever this is that's leaving, it's, it's actually going to turn out for the better because it's either going to propel you to do what you should have been doing all along or propel you to make a change that you needed to make all along, or it's going to put you in an even better situation, Virgo. Um, cause I'm seeing a complete into this, a good into this, but, um, yeah, for a lot of you, there may be, um, in July, you may be finding it difficult uh, to stay positive when it comes to finances because it seems like there may be one stream of, of, of money that is ending. So some of you may be leaving a job. You may lose a job. I'm sorry to say if that I'm very sorry if that happens to you. But for those of you who do, it seems like you had some kind of inkling that it was coming. You may get this inkling that it's coming in July. But again, this is to put you in a better place, either doing what you're supposed to be doing or to, or to put you in a situation where you're going to make even more money or maybe to put you in a position so you can go back to school and learn to do what you really want to do. Uh, yeah, there's something about this ending that even though you can't see the positive in it, Virgo, you will, you will. It's for the best. It's for the best. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're down in the dumps and if you're having a hard time finding that silver lining. It is going to appear 
uh, just give it a little time to unfold. Um, for those of you, definitely July is not a month to loan money because it would be a loss. Not a great month to invest for some reason for, for you, Virgo. Um, uh, yet it seems like you would just be giving money away. <laughs> So if you loan money, yeah, it would it would not be a loan. It would be a, a gift because you wouldn't be getting it back. Um, some of you may be trying to get a loan or get a mortgage or, or, or get money from an institution to go back to school, something like that. And you may find out that you're not going to get as much as you thought or um, you, you're just not uh, you're not going to qualify. Uh, stay positive, Virgo, because I feel like the funds that you need will be coming again from from somewhere else, from a new beginning, from maybe this is just propelling you, pushing you to make this change, to uh, to make that hobby that you're good at into a, a revenue stream, turn it into your job to to start that business you've been thinking about. Um, you know, take baby steps in July toward those new things. Again, I, I wouldn't, for some reason, new beginnings as far as business for you in July. It seems like you need to let it percolate a little bit longer. Uh, new beginnings in relationship, though, look to be well started. Uh, those are uh, going to move forward with uh, a quickness. But the money stuff, it seems like you still have some details to figure out, some, some things you need to look at as far as what you should really be doing for a living or what you really want to do for a living. Um, you know, if you're considering going back to school, what you want to study, it just seems like you, you're still maybe figuring that out in July. Health is going to be available to you. Um, if you have children, your children are going to be a, a real source of comfort to you in July, probably on the holiday weekend. You're, you're going to have a good time with your kids. Um, if you're in the States, you know, the July 4th weekend, long weekend. So it could be that uh, they really kind of put things in perspective. Sometimes, sometimes kids can say the darndest things um, as that old book which is hilarious if you can still find it. Um, it is a, a hilarious book, but um, they can just put things in perspective with the things that they say. And I feel like you'll have uh, a, a moment like that, at least one in, in July, uh, and it will just really make you laugh and amuse you. Um, you can feel overwhelmed in July, but, but there is, uh, you are going to be seeing signs even in July of whatever this new beginning is. So ho however confused you start out, with in July, it looks like by the end, um, you're going to be seeing where this was leading or why this happened, and um, and uh, that it was it's all a step on you know it's all a piece of the journey it's all a part of the of the journey the path finding your way where, you, where you, to your destination where you need to go. Um, delay is your friend in July, and I know that may sound odd. But yeah, I mean, what I'm seeing is that you need to take time out. You just need to take a rest, take a break from it all, and uh, let your mind still and figure out where you want to go next. What can't be changed about July is that, you know, some of these changes will make you feel vulnerable. They'll make you feel like, you know, they were forced on you, like this is not something you chose. But um, I, I feel like you're going to have support. So you're. For a lot of you, you know, this is, you know, you're going to be surrounded by people who, a uh, family or friends who, who will help you out if you need financial assistance, will give you a place to stay. If you're between homes, um, you know, if you close on a house and the other one is not ready yet, you need, you know, you're kind of out of a place to stay, you're, you're going to have to be able to depend on people to, to pull you through this. Or just in the support of, I've been through a similar situation, I know what you're going through. Um, you know, call me whenever you need me, you text me whenever you need me, that, that kind of um, really great uh, friends. Um, and good friends are priceless. So definitely, if you're fortunate enough to have them, call on them if you need them in the month of July, because they're really going to be able to offer you some words of wisdom uh, and some good advice. And uh, maybe just take you out and get your mind off things to, to get to dinner or a movie or, or something. Um, yeah, because, you know, you whatever the shift is, it, you may feel like you're not ready for it or that it's not to your benefit, but it actually is, Virgo. Um, for some of you, this may be centered around domestic issues. It may be centered around a partnership. You may be getting a divorce or considering getting a divorce. Um, Going back to this, if it's something that's forced upon you, it could be your partner and you get papers and you suddenly find out that know your partner wants a divorce but I feel like it, whatever this is Virgo if it is a, a partnership romantic marriage issue relationship issue 
um, you intuitively felt that this has been wrong for a long time. Again, going back to this, whatever the change is, it's supposed to happen because it's for your best. It's in your best interest. Um, because it looks like maybe you were being taken advantage of a lot of you. If you've been in a situation where, and I know this has been a theme for a lot of you and you'll be leaving and getting out of those situations at different times all year. But yeah, if you felt that something's been going on too long um, and you didn't leave, and maybe you should have ages ago, um, it could be in July that the other person does. Um, or, I mean, it, it could be that you just meet someone pretty awesome in July, Virgo, and you decide, okay, um, I'm going to take the plunge and file for divorce. Or, you know, maybe there is somebody that you've been kind of interested in for a while. I just knocked on the cards. Sorry. I think that's a sign that that is right. Because, But I kind of feel like this person could come out of nowhere. So maybe just knowing that you have options in July, relationship-wise, uh, is going to give you the courage you need to, to get out of a bad situation, Virgo. Anything that you're leaving behind, anything that's ending in July needs to go, but you may not feel like that all through the month of July. But I think by the end, you're going to know that it is the right thing to do. Um, because if you if you don't have someone else that you're interested in, you know, this, I think that uh, you will by the end of the month. Um, if you're concerned about property and the division of, 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 of that and financial stuff and custody and, and all that stuff, if you have children, um, you know, all that will be worked out to your benefit. Um, especially if you're the female. I mean, you know, if you're the mother, mothers do have the upper hand in custody situations. So you Virgo mothers, you, you are uh, going to get... Um, you know, uh, what you want out of that situation. Uh, you Virgo guys though, I think you're going to find something that works for you too, because this does seem to be a situation where both people knew this was over or know this is over by the end of July. So, um, being vindictive is not going to get you anywhere. It's only going to bring negative back on you. So it's really pointless. But again, I, I think you're going to, um, see the positive in this by the end of July and be quite joyous, actually. Uh, those of you who have had issues with health are going to get some really good news because it may be, you may find that, uh, they finally find out what has been causing something that's been disrupting your life for quite some time. So, I mean, it could be something that, you know, you've had different specialists on or have your doctor investigating and finally they figure out not only what it is, but how to treat it. And you're going to see a very quick recovery once this is figured out and once the solution is discovered. So, and I see you being very happy and relieved about that. Um, and again, I see you recovering from whatever this disruptive news is in July, Virgo, uh, because you're going to quickly see what, uh, what the reason was. Um, and those of you who, who, who are start looking for a job in July, I see you had going on interviews. So, um, or uh, some of you may be taking a test, getting certifications or, or going back to school so that you can uh, take the required courses for something you really want to do. So by the end of July, you have a plan. And yeah, you may not be happy about what all, you know, what has happened yet, but you will be. And, and you'll kind of see where this is going. So yeah, by the end of July, look back and think about it and think about where you are as opposed to where you were at the start of July. And then you're going to notice that, okay, I, I see. Maybe it didn't happen the way that you wanted it to happen. Exactly. Maybe things didn't go down the way you wanted them to go down, but it still got you where you needed to be. I think you're going to find that's true at the end of July, Virgo. Uh, 